Informal education has been carried out by the Punang Ohingkarho indigenous people in their family and community since generations. But the development of modern civilizations requires them to adjust, broaden the scope and content of education so that they are able to manage these developments in harmony with the greatness of their civilization. Then they need a formal education. Unfortunately, the formal education in their community is not able to provide. Merangat Foundation supports the cultural movement of Puna Ohengkarewa Indigenous through establishments of Sekolah Adat Jud Ubing. Sekolah Adat Jud Ubing is a cultural movement, a systematically organized learning activities to carry out community culture-based education and organize it in daily life by the Puna Ohengkarewa themselves. <laughs> In the interior Kapos Hulu Regency, such as Kareho Village, the quality of formal education is still very low. Meanwhile, informal education cannot provide modern knowledge. Sekolah Adat strengthens both sectors by bringing volunteers and tourists to the village to teach the people, such as teaching English. What then happens is very interesting. In the process of knowledge transfer, there is a cultural dialogue between them, so that the villagers and the volunteers enrich knowledge each other. Good morning, Jawin. Kata mereka. Good morning, selamat pagi. Bukan begitu, selamat. Sudah berapa tahun? Sudah berapa tahun? Tiga belas. Wow. Tiga belas. Sekolah Adat Jut Ubing belongs to the entire Punan Ohengkareho indigenous community. Therefore, all activities of Sekolah Adat not only involve but expect and rely on the contributions of all members of the community itself. Everyone contributes according to the knowledge and skill he has. The process of transferring knowledge and skill is managed systematically in Sekolah Adat, so that the teaching and learning process provides an optimal result. The Punan Ohengkareho community is one of the Dayak's indigenous communities that still has a rich artistic heritage. Dance, Sape, and Menyangon are three priceless artistic heritage and are still well preserved in this indigenous community.
When there are guests visiting the Punan Oyan Karejo in the Guinness community, one of the dances that is always performed is the battle dance. This dance illustrates the majesty and pride of the Punan Oyan Karejo in the Guinness community. This dance also means giving high respect to the guests who come. The majesty of creator of heaven and earth is depicted in dance. Spiritual dance with its morning meditation is offered in the open air. This dance is a thanksgiving for gift of a new day and life. So, the dance and music in the Punan Ohen Tariho society is not just a work of art, but an expression of prayer. They pray through the dance and music. The Sekolah Adat is not only a place of learning, but a place where all community members gather, where all members of the indigenous peoples discuss together about the community's plan, discuss about the problems faced, and find the best solution for those problems. During the meeting, brilliant and wise ideas were found. From this meeting, concrete steps began. But the essence of Sekolah Adat as a school was not abandoned. In Sekolah Adat Jutubing, an alternative school model will be organized with various subjects such as literacy, science, English, traditions, history, community belief, local wisdoms, art, culture, traditional medicine and traditional healing methods, and life skill will be teach. Teachings and learning activities for children will be done inside and outside of the classroom as needed. Teaching and learning activities outside of the classrooms are intended to provide opportunities for children to experience first-hand life in a diverse living space in the wild under the guidance of the teachers. Inheritance of customary values and local wisdom and ancestral history are often conveyed by indigenous leaders in daily togetherness, at home, in the fields, in the forest, or wherever they are in togetherness. Various life skills are taught and in true everyday life. Jadi, 
Sekolah adat does not replace the role of formal schools, but rather support it. Sekolah adat provides a wider and more flexible learning spaces for children, where children can always learn about their customs, arts, and culture. Sekolah adat also prepares indigenous peoples to mitigate the negative impacts of development through increasing the capacity of community members so as to be able to explore, utilize, and develop all of the potential natural and human resources which are available to them. How the operational school added can be sustainable is a crucial question. First, Sekolah adat belongs to all members of the indigenous community. So all members of the community are responsible for ensuring the continued operation of the sekolah adat. Secondly, sekolah adat develops fundraising, such as selling community products, developing an environmental service business in the form of ecotourism, developing a cultural services business in the form of cultural tourism, organizing various arts and film events and festivals, support from the village government and donors. The entire living space of the Punan Ohangkareho tribe is a paradise. All places offer stunning natural beauty. Therefore, the ecotourism package is a mainstay product in supporting fundraising. Well, it's hard to find words to describe it, really. I mean, it's unbelievable. You know, we just had the most incredible day coming up the rapids for the last three or four hours. Exciting, exhilarating, you know, um, but but always incredible scenery as we come further and further up this river. The, 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 the original forest just becomes you know, more thicker and, and different trees and now look at this, we're, we're surrounded by these massive cast pinnacles all around yeah. us. For me this is like like an amphitheatre of nature at its finest, you know, we're going to spend the night here, we're going to sleep in the jungle or sleep beside the river and enjoy each other's company and just celebrate being alive really, but also honouring nature. I think this is very important because to me, I mean, nature is the most incredible thing. It's so beautiful, and there's so much to learn from nature. And when it's in balance like this, and you're in the ancient rainforest, millions of years old, all around us, it's an incredible feeling. Really, really hard to describe. It's, it's very powerful. It's a powerful energy. And I think being with the Punan people that have lived here for thousands of years, that know these forests, and know these rivers, and know these areas, and to be with them and, and we've got a few elders with us, we've got about four of the ladies, we've got some of the younger kids, we've got some of the men, mostly men, I mean it's incredible, what a wonderful balance of, you know, and of course our other diet friends from other parts are coming on town with us and Chris from England, so yeah, we've got a beautiful group of people and we're going to really celebrate. In addition to having a living space filled with enchanting natural beauty, 
the Punan Ohengarejo tribe has freshly artistic and cultural heritage. Art and cultural heritage are stored in the form of dance, sabe music, penyangon, customs and practices of life that are carried out according to their local wisdom. Then the cultural tourism package will also be a supporter of fundraising. In this Punan Ohen Karyo indigenous community, we set up a sekolah adat. This sekolah adat will be a locus for the Punan Ohen Karyo to learn, teach, inherit their arts and culture, and develop their capacities, so that they are able to manage modern developments in harmony with their civilization. And for that all, we need your hand.